Today we are talking Canon 90D. I know it's not the fresh camera, not the newest one, not the flashy one, but it's an interesting camera that in, in the beginning when I received it from Canon, I was like, uh, do I really want to test it? Like, it's, it's old school, it's, it's a DSLR camera, right? Um, but then when I started to use it, uh, this video is not sponsored or anything. I just got this camera from them and to test and that's it. And I had to give it back. So, so this is only my honest opinion. So, so my first impression was like, ah, uh, we are, you know, going back in the history, like DSLRs are dead, but I was kind of wrong. I mean, <laughs> they probably are dead or soon going to be dead. However, a lot of photographers still use DSLRs. And there are some advantages of Canon 90D that I just want to mention. So I want to keep this video brief. I don't want to mention everything that, uh, you know, you can say about this camera, but the things that stood out to me that I think are the most important to make decision. For example, if you should invest in 90D or maybe M6 Mark II. So let's find out. First thing first is the ergonomy of this camera. It's good. It's, it's, uh, it's not the best made camera it's not the top of the line you can feel that those button the, those buttons are not you know top quality but they are definitely good quality it's a weather sealed camera and my most important feature that i want to mention my my favorite feature is is joystick autofocus joystick this is something to uh that like helps me personally to make decision if i want the camera or not i love to have joystick to choose my autofocus um, you know, um, uh, point and that joystick works flawlessly. You also have touch screen, it's weather sealed, I mentioned already. And, and you know, ergonomy of the camera is known from, from older Canons. It's well tested, well known. And I feel like this camera just performs very well. When we talk about ergonomy, it's not ergonomy anymore, but I want to talk about the advantage of having DSLR camera, which is battery life. Um, I have only mirrorless cameras and I tested a lot of mirrorless cameras in recent months um, and and man like I didn't I almost like didn't have to charge this camera I think for a week which is totally insane totally impossible or any mirrorless camera or my iPad is down um, I have like little you know reminders with specs on the camera and stuff here just in case if I forget anyways so uh, I haven't seen this kind of performance in any camera and I'm a little bit confused because I didn't make a test test you know like in the lab test uh, but some sources say it can last 1000 frames on uh, like you know optical EVF or some sources say it's like 1800 I think so let me know in the comments below if you know how um, how many pictures exactly you can take on the electronic EVF or LCD uh, display. However, battery life from my personal experience is really good in this camera and this might be the reason. So joystick, good ergonomic, ergonomics and uh, battery life may be a reason why you want to look still at this DSLR camera. The other thing that stood out to me is uh, its, uh, its autofocus and photography uh, functionality in general. So it's not the fastest camera, but it can go 10 frames per second. However, you have to remember that if you go full speed, the autofocus is not really reliable. So you want to, you know, uh, you know, reduce the speed of the camera a little bit so the autofocus can be trusted. And this is where this, you know, split personality of that camera comes into play because autofocus does not perform as good through electronic viewfinder as it is performing through um, you know, optical series viewfinder as it performs on the um, LCD display in live view mode. So in live view mode, it basically is like, like a mirrorless camera. It performs really well. Uh, it's a touch screen. You can choose your point and, uh, and it's very reliable and it's very fast. However, when we switch to, um, to optical viewfinder, it's not that reliable anymore and not that fast anymore. It's okay, but 
it doesn't take full advantage of the autofocus system used by Canon. So having said that, if you're a wildlife photographer, you may want to look at that from this particular perspective, because you may want to have a super fast camera with a very reliable autofocus, but in to have super reliable autofocus through viewfinder, you have to reduce the speed. So you have to keep that in mind if wildlife photography is your thing. Now let's move to video and um, to me, it was, a, it was a huge surprise that it's a capable video camera. It's not as capable as some of, for example, like Sony's uh, equivalent, Sony equivalents. I mean, Sony doesn't have DSLRs anymore, but you know, like if you compare it to, I don't know, a A6400, uh, you know, those cameras video wise are more capable. However, it's not bad here because you get, you get 4K 30 frames per second, you get 120 frames per second in full. HD, um, you know, um, you get good colors out of the camera and you have a great vlogging package because you get full picture readout. So no crap factor here, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's zero, I mean, it's one to one. So uh, you can use wide angle lens and get this, you know, glorious wide angle to film everything around you to frame yourself easily. So if you're a vlogger, this camera just performs really well and autofocus will track your face, track your eyes, and this is very, very, very reliable. You have this nice, fl nice flippy out screen. So having said all that, like video wise, it's not a bad camera. I would love to see some, I don't know, flat profiles, some, some extras like other, you know, um, cameras offer right now. Um, however, if you want something simple that performs really well out of the box, I think 90D can really be a good choice in that case. Okay, um, so we just said about autofocus in video mode. So now let's sum up. Would you like to, uh, would you, should you choose like M6 Mark II or 90D? Um, it's a very, very difficult uh, question to answer. So if battery life ergonomy uh, is your thing and you don't mind a little bigger size and um, you want to take advantage of some extra video functionality, the 90D is surprisingly a very good choice. However, having said that, I love M6 Mark II, it's a great camera, it performs really well and um, you get a little bit less when it comes to video, but you also get like smaller size, lighter camera, you get mirrorless system, smaller lenses, uh, so there, there's a lot of advantages of, of, of having M6 Mark II. So uh, it really goes, comes down to, to uh, this question, what will you be using this camera for? So um, I think honestly that 90D is one of the last uh, DSLR cameras that are released, um, are to be released by Canon or you know, it's generally one of the <laughs> last DSLR cameras out there on the market. However, I feel when you st when you buy it, you still get a lot of years of you know good camera performance, and you can enjoy that camera for many years ahead because it has got a lot of things to offer. But you have to remember about the split personality of this camera. It's a different camera through viewfinder, and it's a different camera in a live mode. Guys, let me know if you enjoyed my uh, short review of 90D Canon EOS 90D and let me know if I forgot to mention something that you find very important in the comments below and of course, I see you guys in the next one.